I have to. Do this once again. Your orders. Recruiting more ships for the tribe. There's no point in recruiting anything here because I can't build the ships that I need, unfortunately. Surprisingly, Crete is very well defended. We already know that our Hodes is going to be attacked by enemy fleet. This one bristles wards, and there's nothing much that I can do about it. In any case, we'll just have to move forward. Bakshi has remnants and somewhere on the north west side of the Black Sea. <coughs> Hopefully we'll be able to find them again. Just as previously expected, our Hodus is launching an attack on us. It's time to finish this off. However, I would like to fight this this time. Let's enjoy naval battle. I do not believe that I can win this, however, I'm sure that by landing on their ships I could inflict a lot more damage than they would otherwise suffer in auto resolve. Here's, here's my reinforcements. I want them to target. Each ship right there. As you can see, that's a general's unit with our Hodes flag. Oh, that looks like a familiar flag too. In any case, uh, this is a different time period. And um, their ships are filled with troops of uh, a fine quality. <clears throat> These are well trained, well armed soldiers. <clears throat> ships awaiting your word. Now, if my assault ships would end up fighting theirs. Undoubtedly, we could potentially sink at least one of them or a few. You see, their ships have suffered tremendous casualties already <clears throat> due to an ongoing war. But um, <clears throat> we didn't. I see that there is this ship right here that uh, <clears throat> was not attacked by any of us. Now we just have to wait. <clears throat> this is going to be a fine engagement. No doubts about it. Look at that. They attack this force with their um, javelins and uh, the javelin attacks will certainly <clears throat> are going to reduce our troops look at that An enormous number of soldiers have just simply disintegrated there okay 
Let's all gang up on this one. <clears throat> Make sure they're all dead. My soldiers are being shot by. It looks like they are very, very successfully supporting uh, their ships. And so, we don't stand much chance, however, one of their ships will certainly end up being eradicated. Okay, in here we were unsuccessful, too many soldiers have died from their javelin fire and under their constant javelin fire. <clears throat> Besides, their ships are much larger. They were able to fill up a lot more warriors in it. <clears throat> Besides, all is not lost just yet. Let us just... Uh, and this now because everybody has routed. At least they lost one of their <clears throat> main combat ships. However, it was still relatively unsuccessful. I was expecting just a little bit more, but I wasn't taking into consideration just how effective the old javelin fire will be. Most of the sailors. were too wounded and have suffered too many casualties in their units to be able to take out their enemy ship crews as effectively. Now let's see what we have here. Seahorse, 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 angry beast clan, let's go with that. Sanctuary. His enemies came looking for him and were not happy that we had offered him sanctuary. But there was little they could do. General tribal influence has been lost. Unfortunately, that nobleman that has lost his tribe was pursued by their enemies and it was a little bit disrespectful for us. Rest a while. Your orders? Put your backs into it. All hands to the oars. Not to give that leader away. Ready for orders. Your order. Moving out to others. Okay. It looks like in here we have a little bit of trouble. Obviously we won't win this, however, we may wound some of them. Okay, 25 soldiers have lost their lives on enemy side. It's not much, but it's better than absolutely nothing. And um, we'll keep pursuing them. Just like that. Furthermore. What else needs builder? There are even two shrines in here, so this city will certainly be very happy and very religious focus <clears throat> focused which isn't bad for us at all 
it looks like that's all for now there are a few skills that need assignment okay this will make the army even better at fighting with extra training in here we'll do the same now military training plus 90 unit experience gain per turn which is what making my armies so much better at fighting let's carry on One sacrifice is needed on the altar of our goodwill. I speak of gold, of course. Now, as you can see, interestingly, <clears throat> we are finally steadfast, they're confident and loyal. They're neutral towards us. They just don't like us because we had past treaties with Bactria. There's cultural aversion and expansionism. Cultural aversion and expansionism are base negatives that cannot be changed and applied to everybody. And past treaties with Bactria are going to disappear soon. Due to the fact that we are going to attack Rome, treaty with Sparta is going to be very useful. We rejected the treaty proposed by Rome. However, we're going to agree with the treaty proposed by Sparta. This creates an alliance, or a defensive alliance in this case, where we are going to protect each other, or unite against other threats, and the only real threat is Syracuse and Rome. Wisdom should always be admired, even in small things. Let us hope today's acceptance is a great thing. Interestingly enough, we have simple needs. All we ask is a small amount of wealth. You will hardly notice it. The political situation is very interesting because everybody is somehow interconnected with everybody else in the known world. RDAA, the puppet or client state of Rome, has offered us military alliance. We already have a defensive pact. I'm going to agree. Hopefully, they're going to betray Rome and gain themselves an independence. Maybe that's exactly why they want these treaties, because we will help them gain independence if they agree to join the war against Rome. Much ale will be swilled thanks to your words of agreement. My thanks. We're steadfast, that means we are finally trustworthy enough for other nations to fully cooperate. in rank, our hidden agent exposed, mission failed, rival banquet. One of the other parties has organized a banquet in your capital, threatening your hegemony. How do you react? Attend, boycott, forbidden break. We're going to attend it. Hopefully friendliness is exactly what we need. <clears throat> High seas attrition. That's Whoa, that was very, very bad. Absolutely incredible. I can't find Bactrians anywhere around here. That's very disappointing. I'll have to raise another fleet. Hire a mercenary unit. And... Uh, I'm going to go after this region here to see if I can catch them. Faction destroyed. Okay, it looks like finally Bakshay has been annihilated by the Syracuse. For this reason I'm going to disband this force. 
Now, I have to send these soldiers south. There's going to be a place where we'll be able to fight. Your orders? Syracuse, however, unfortunately enough, these are high seas. No replenishment or recruitment available. Fleets will suffer losses due to attrition when in deep waters. Unfortunately, there is a possibility that all of these uh, ship, ships will sink. Furthermore, here, it's time for me to reduce our Hodas forces further. It looks like they've been abandoned here by some of their ships. Good. And the last of them. Prepare for battle. That's the force that has recently won. Fleet ready. Maybe Order this time yours. we'll be finally able to engage them. It looks like we will not be able to do so. They will still be running away from us. And... Uh, This will undoubtedly prolong our victory over them. As you can see, there are sailing circles around. There is a possibility that I won't be able to catch all of them. Rival Banquet. You have shown class and impressed all parties, but the organizers of the banquet also gained influence. <clears throat> Unfortunately, the Seahorse Clan became even more influential. Let's see how the statistics currently bear. It looks like it's fine, Angry Beast Clan is gaining momentum consistently, but uh, we are finally, or at last, the most influential clan out there. We secured all the promotions that we can get, and I'm sure that's keeping us strong and well. For as long as it stays like that, it's going to be just fine. Let's attack them further. They are on force march, so we should Your orders? be able to catch up to them. As you can see, I there's no way for me to catch them. I need to raise more fleets. And with the use of these fleets, I have to go after them. Here I'm sailing forward. We must rest a while and further moving after. And finally, the Empire has least reached a level where almost each and every city has been built up has been built up to a level where there is nothing else to increase and it could be that in six or seven turns the last buildings will be built and will be at the peak of our strength What else? More experience. 
As you can see, some of these soldiers are already in Golden Chevron. Surprisingly, this navy survived and they should be able to recruit when I move them into a port. Natural causes, death, mission issued, allied request, Ketos, Lord of the Deep, hungers for the flesh of mortals. Destroy this enemy fleet that he may be appeased. Brizzus wars our Hodas. It looks like everybody wants us to defeat our Hodas once and for all. Finally they have retreated into 